Hello and welcome. In this presentation, I will be showing you how to draw a line using what's commonly referred to as the point and gradient method. Now, just as a recap, a point can be considered to have a set of coordinates. In this situation, this point here has the coordinates x equals 2, y equals 3. The gradient basically is a number which quite, quite, quite commonly is, re is represented as a fraction to represent the steepness or the slope of a line. Where a line cuts either the y-axis or the x-axis on the Cartesian plane is referred to as either the y-intercept or the x-intercept. Now, I'm going to go straight to an example. It's probably the, the best approach. And basically, there's five steps. And the first step is you need to identify the starting point. Well, we actually always start at the point that we have been given. So our starting point is the point 2, comma, 1. Or well, x is 2, y is 1. Next step, we need to convert the gradient that we have been presented to a fraction. So the gradient here is 3. So 3 represented as a fraction will be 3 over 1. Right, so we're working from the point 2, 1, gradient of 3 over 1. Here is my Cartesian plane. Now, I need to locate the point 2, 1 on the Cartesian plane and draw a little dot there. There you go. X is 2, Y is 1. Now, to draw a straight line, I effectively just need another point. And then I can draw a line that goes straight through those two points. So, I need to examine the gradient because the gradient represents how many units I go up divided by, well, how many units I go across. So, 3 over 1 is a positive gradient, so I'll be going up. So, starting here, I will go up 3 units. 1, 2, 3. Then I go across 1 unit, and this here will give me my second point. Then all I need to do now is draw a line that goes through both of those points. There you have it. This is a line passing through the point 2, 1 with a gradient of 3. Next, next example. Now, I actually haven't written all the steps down. I'll actually do this with my pen as I go along. So, here's the pen. Now, my starting point is 2, negative 1. Sorry, negative 2, negative 1. So I find where x is negative 2, y is negative 1, and that is right there. Now, a gradient of 0 0.5. So that means my gradient M will be equal to 0 0.5, commonly referred to as 1 half. So what does that mean? That means I go up 1 and across 2. So here I go, up 1 to there, then across 1, 2. I have my two points. Now, I'm not going to use a ruler, but I could draw a straight line that goes through there. There you go. One there, arrow hit there, the arrow hit here, there. So that is a line passing through the point negative 2, negative 1, with a gradient of 0 0.5. Okay, let's move to the next example. Okay, we're going to go through the point negative 2, 1. So x is negative 2, 
this time y equals 1. So that is my starting point. Now, I have a gradient of negative 2. So my value of m, my gradient, will be equal to negative 2 over 1. Negative indicates I'll be going down and across. So here we go. So I'll go down to 1, 2. It gives me that. And then I go across 1. So that is my second point. All I need to do now, draw a line that goes through those points. I really should be drawing a bit straight a line, but you get the general idea. That line should go through that point there. Let's look at the next one. Is there a next one? Yes, and I think this is the last one. Draw a line passing through the point negative 4, 3. So let's find x equal negative 4, y equals 3. That is there. Negative 4 for x, y is 3. Now, a gradient of negative 0.25. Now, 0.25 is represented as a quarter. Now, m will be equal to minus 1 over 4. Negative to represent that. Now, a negative means I'll be going down 1 and across 4. So, let's go and find where I am. Down 1 takes me to there. Then across 4. 1, 2, 3, 4 right there on the y-axis and all I need to do now is have a go at drawing a line that should be a straight line apologies but you get the general idea so that is a line passing through the point 4 negative 4 3 with a gradient of 0.25 So, there you have it. To summarise, if I wish to draw a line that's passing through a specific point with a specific gradient, mm -hmm. identify the starting point, convert the gradient to a fraction, then from that fraction, well, you locate the starting point on your Cartesian plane, then you work how many units I go up, how many units I go across, pick a second point. Once you have that second point, use a ruler. Obviously, I didn't use a ruler, but use a ruler to have a line, to produce a line that goes through those two points. So, until next time, good maths. Bye for now.